A fire in New Haven leaves 10 adults and two children looking for a place to stay just before the holidays. Good evening, I'm Ann Craig. I'm Darren Kramer. That two alarm fire broke out just after six o'clock tonight. News Ace Noel Gardner live on the scene with the very latest. Noel? And in Darren, it took 50 firefighters to put out that blaze. 10 people lived in that two story home, including two children. All got out safely, but they're without a home for the holidays. A two story home goes up in flames, leaving three New Haven families without a place to live. Firefighters tackling the two alarm blaze after six o'clock on Cosseth Street. When neighbors saw the flames, and I was just shocked. Right here is like right outside your door. 12 people were inside the home when the fire sparked, including two children. Uh, the fire had total control or burning the total front of the building on our arrival. The fire hydrant in front of the home was out of service. The fire chief says there was a slight delay, but crews used a backup plan, a different water source, knocking the flames down within minutes. The building was totally involved in fire. All right, the delay in the water had no real effect on the extension of the fire. Neighbors are saddened to hear three families are now homeless. Something you never want to hear. It's never a good day when you hear anything involving uh, adults, but children especially. Uh, what was going through your mind? Only thing I thought about was them, the kids. I just said to the police officer, oh my God, the po I'm just children in there, but everybody was safe. And right now, the Red Cross is assisting the families. No word yet on what caused the blaze. The investigation continues. I'm live tonight in New Haven. Noel Gardner, News 8.